let me tell you about today. So I had to go on campus to handle some business, uh, get some paperwork together. And as I was on campus hanging out, I was talking to all my friends and, and whatnot. So my one friend told me about this random ass event that was going on on campus. And it was like free food. I was like, free food? <laughs> you damn right I'm there. All right. <laughs> no pay. So I was like, okay. So then another one of my friends came by and they were talking about it too. And I said, all right, well, you know, let's go. So then they were getting on the phone and come to find out. Apparently it was supposed to be a private event or we had to do something. We had to pay to get in. And I was like, no, nah, I don't want to do that. Never mind. Then they called somebody Long story short, whatever, we got to go. Um, so by the time I found out, my friend, my other friend who had told me about it, his name is Lewis, he was off in the distance and he was walking to someplace else because he thought we couldn't go. So we're walking and I see him and I'm calling him. Now we're in the middle of campus. This ain't like, you know, classes is going on. We're not, I'm not disturbing nobody. So he's like off in the distance and I call him. I'm like, Lewis, to get his attention, to let him know we can go. I'm like, Lewis, Lewis. And the second time I call him, I hear on the side, shut up. And I turned my damn head. I said, did, that, did somebody they just tell me to shut up? And I catch and I look over. And it's some little simple ass uh, Sarah Plain and Tall bitch. She got on a damn gingham dress looking like she got damn working. At, she at the little house on the prairie praying for the crops to come in. And she going to churn some fucking butter. And she was standing next to some fake ass white hipster boy who had on some damn sandals. He thought he was sh chic and cute today. Um, and he probably had on times. And I was like, I know that this hoe not tell me. Shut up. No, she didn't do that. She didn't make that decision. So that's not what she did. But then the back of my mind, the Lord told me, he said, yes, she did. So I look over and my friend Lewis is walking. I catch him and I go, wait a minute. Let me handle something right quick, partner. And I walk over to her direction. I saunter over there um, to assess the situation. Um, also known as checking a bitch. Um, and I walk over there, uh, <clears throat> and I go, um, oh, she, no, first they were talking. They were talking and whatever. And I, as I get closer, she notices that I'm walking over there. And she got that look like, oh, shit, she done caught on. And I'm thinking to myself, you got damn right I done caught on, ho. And I'm about to, I'm about to cash out. So I walk over there, and I get over there, and I say, excuse me, lady. Ma'am, did your fuck ass just tell me to shut up? And she looks at me and she goes, what? Okay, well, guess this bitch is hard to hear it. I said, did your fuck ass just tell me to shut up? And she goes, it was just a joke. I was just joking. Oh my gosh. Was it? It wasn't funny. Cause you were you was about to get you were about to get bitch slapped. And she goes, Oh my god, are you serious? Yes, I am damn serious. I don't joke about slapping a bitch. I joke about many, many things. I joke about old people falling. I joke about significant life events. Hell, I would even joke about somebody's baby, but I would never joke about slapping a bitch. That is some serious business. And so she was like, oh my God, like it's, it's not even that serious. And then the guy next to her, this motherfucker with these damn sandals, the shit looked like corn husks. He was like, he was like, this is ridiculous. It's not that serious. Okay. It's, you you it's so fucking inappropriate it's so fucking unnecessary are you cussing at me too sir are you cussing at me as well would you like a foot up your ass as a complimentary treat to her getting slapped upside the left side of her fucking face 
um, yes, I am damn serious. And so she goes, she goes, oh my God, I'm sorry. Okay. I was just joking. I apologize. I didn't know you were going to get so mad. You damn right. You should be sorry. You don't tell people to shut up in a damn distance. You don't know who the fuck I am. You don't know who you fucking with. I could have had a crossbow on my back, bitch. I keep razor blades in between my teeth. All right. That could have been your throat. Feel me? I'm an excellent marksman. Not really, but she don't know that shit. And that could have been her life today. Don't risk your life. Don't risk your life. But you know what? She lucky I'm saved. And she lucky I talked to the Lord the other day. Because the Lord saved her life. And I walked away. I accepted her apology because I love the Lord. The moral of the story is, though, you don't tell people to shut up in the distance because you might get fucked up.